Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, sim Simple Harmonic Motion. The section is 6.L, which is the sine function of the simple harmonic motion. Here's the scenario, and again, you can read it to yourself. Pause the video if you would like more time. All right, so part A. Dominic places the mass M, and this happens. Uh, what she's trying to do here is she's trying to add or subtract mass from the bucket or the cart to accomplish what she wants, okay? So you could read this to yourself, all right? Pause the video. If you would like some time to do this, my hint to you is thinking about this. Remember, period is equal to 2 pi square root of your mass times your k, which is your spring constant. So you could affect this mass here, all right? Think about how you're going to affect the T. Okay? All right. All right. So the weight of the bucket is what is actually dragging the pencil down to the bottom of the page, like what the scenario said. To get the pencil in the middle, you would have to reduce the bucket by half. Okay? Because again, without the bucket, without the bucket, it was on top. That's what the scenario said. Okay? On top. This is without bucket. Okay, then it hits the bottom. This is with bucket. Does that make sense for if it's half? Again, it's a linear relationship. So this is half bucket. All right. So half the bucket's mass. Because the two forces acting on the pencil are the spring forces upwards and the force of gravity pulling it down. So it should have been, uh, what is it? Mg. And going up was kx, all linear relationships. There's no squared here. That's why if you could cut it in half, it becomes half. All right, next part. Uh, you want to also make the period bigger. You want the uh, for it to have a bigger period, right? So you want to double the period of the pencil's oscillation, okay? So you want this to be 2t. How can you get this to be 2t? Look at it mathematically. Can you, does the 2 pi do anything? No. Can you affect the spring constant in this scenario? No. The only thing you could do is the mass. So what can you do to the mass? If you want to double this, can you just double the mass? No, because of the squared, right? So you would have to do it by a factor of 4 because the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Okay? The period is only caused, the period is caused by the spring and the mass attached to the spring with the cart, not the bucket. So here, what you would do is increase the mass on the cart by a factor of four. Because again, that's how you get two. So you could get twice the period. And again, your the period is caused by the spring and the mass attached to the spring. You cannot do anything to the bucket. So again, you're going to add more mass. Uh, you are going to uh, add mass to the cart. Okay. Once you add mass to this cart, all right, boom, more mass, then you're going to have a bigger period. Okay. So she wants to double the period. Here's the next part. Okay. You could read the scenario to yourself. But essentially what you're trying to do here is you're going to calculate the speed that V appears when moving that includes the unit in this word. Okay, so like what we said here, what are the two forces that are behaving in here? Kx and mg, right? If you want to set up Newton's second law, that's what it came out to be. The force of the spring was equal to the um, force of g. So it was Kx is equal to mg, right? So you know k. But you and you know that the change was 0 0.5, the mass was 0 0.5, and the gravity you can just use as 10, right? Okay, understand? Again, you can just label this information there. Uh, X was 0 0.05 meters, okay, and this is the um, m which was 0 0.5 kilograms, all right? 
Solving for it, divide this over. You should get k is equal to k is going to be equal to 100 newton meter. So the spring constant equals this much. Now you want to get the velocity, right? The whole point of getting this is still to get the velocity. Okay. All right. So um, what you could do here is that. All right. Now let's see. We need to get the period. So what's the period formula for this one? I'm gonna make this blue. Period is equal to t to pi square root mass over k. That's the reason why we got k. So two pi square root of 100 kilograms over 100 newton meter. All right. Okay. Do the math. The time should be equal to two seconds, right? That's the period of the oscillation, okay? All right, so 10 kilograms, you should already know the mass. 100 came from here. Lastly, we want to get the velocity. Okay, the velocity. Why do we need all of this? Because the velocity was essentially um, your total distance, right? Your total distance over your total time. But in reality, in the centripetal world, you treat this as um, 2 pi r. And it's no longer t. It's considered the period. Right? Okay, this is in the, uh, this is the velocity in the circle world. Okay, when it's going in a circle. Okay. So where so you have the T, okay? You have the T. You have the T. Okay. So the T here became Okay, so the V, so it should look something like this. Equal to you have this as two seconds. All you need to do now is to determine the two pi r part. Okay. So think about the one complete cycle here. So this is one complete cycle, right? Okay. So here, here, and it goes down all the way to here, all right? And they said it here, each of these blocks represents two. So this was essentially, I'm going to estimate this. This, uh, so this was essentially two, then goes down here, length of two, here, length of two, here, Length of two. So this total, th ugh, that's ugly. Okay. So this two, and this was also length of two. So two, 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 two. All right. That makes the total distance here as eight. So if you do the math, the velocity is basically four. Uh, let's look at the units. I just want to be careful. This was centimeters. So be careful. This is centimeters, right? And this was seconds. So this is centimeters over seconds. Normally we have it over meters per second, so you have to convert it. Okay. Uh, so give me a second while I convert it for you. Okay. Um, here, uh, or you can, or it is 0 0.04 meters over, uh, let's see, seconds. Yeah. Oh, so it's 0. Point or you could say the velocity is 0.04 meters per second, okay? That's how we do this. Now, I know some of you might be confused on how I actually got the 0.05 meters here, because again, this, this is the same thing as five centimeters, right? And I got it from um, looking at the chart about its displacement, okay? All right, so I, you just had to convert it there. All right, just some students had questions, so I just want to make sure you understood how I got the X here for its displacement. Okay. All right, so there you go. Uh, those are all your answers uh, for this. Oh, no, there's actually a part C. Let's look at part C. Um, that was just a calculation part. Um, here, suppose that the small amount of friction between the pencil and the paper enough to affect that the vertical motion of the bucket but not cause the bucket to swing back and forth. Oh. Answer this question. How does this affect this? You should read these notes. Okay, pause the video. Read these notes. Okay, this is on the idea of damp harmonic motion. All right. 
I'm going to highlight some important stuff for you here that you should really look at. Okay, of the oscillating system, the energy would dissipate to thermal energy, resulting in decreasing aptitude of the oscillation. Okay. So, now I'm going to get you the two answers here. Once you have those notes, get these notes down, then answer these two questions. Okay? All right. So, based on this these in, uh, these notes, you should get this answer. So, I would say the speed of the cart decreases because energy is being in the form of heat is being lost in the form of heat due to the friction caused in the oscillation to have smaller and smaller amplitude as time is going by. Okay? So energy is being lost because of the friction and how it would all would affect the graph. So it would just look like um, the amplitude of the graph would decrease since the vertical motion is being damped by the force of friction as time goes by. And it should look like something like this. OK, this is the um, how um, damping of harmonic motion would look like. OK, there you go. Um, these calculations are just complicated, but these just come from graphically looking at it, okay? Um, but I want to make sure that you understand how here, how the pier changes and how the weight affects it, and the fact that you add weight and um, how energy can be lost um, in a super harmonic motion. That's why it's always damping, okay? Harmonic motions rarely exist in nature because there's always... Um, you know, external forces. Okay, but there you go. Those are all your solutions uh, for 6L.